Clay Purview. Watch Speedway live or on demand. And SRV Road Freight Services. Excellence in motion. Bring you Speedway Nation with Jared Ash and Ryan Harris right across the SEM network. Australian Spring Cup on for the longest time, well, forever, has only been open to Australian competitors. We spoke to Lockie McHugh, current Australian Spring Car Championship, uh, current Australian Spring Car Champion last week. He won that title amongst 80 competitors, all Australian based. Where do we stand, Ryan Harris, on. Well, so, speed cars, midgets in America, but speed cars in Australia, they allow USA drivers and New Zealand drivers to come and contest the Australian Championship. Late model drivers, it's been won by USA drivers before. For the longest time, sprint cars, just Australian drivers. It's a polarizing topic. It is. So, Ryan Harris, the promoter, um, loves the fact that speed cars and late models can have an international driver compete and run. So, I've heard all the arguments before about, yes, they're not going to be here to run the number one, all those kind of things all year. But, you know, I only saw a graphic the other day, 2009 Murray Bridge Australian Speed Car Championship, Jerry Kearns Jr., <laughs> you know, Michael Pickens. You know, I, I, then I go back to Australian Speed Car title at Toowoomba all those years ago, Davey Ray, you know, Jerry Kearns Jr. was there as well. Like, it's just... Well, Brady Bacon... Yeah. Obviously one in, in Sydney at Eastern Creek Speedway as well. Timez. Like, yeah. it's just, it's a promotion's dream. And I know that makes it hard because all of a sudden, if all the national titles were, you know, well, this one is, of the internationals, then they're all going to run them in a little tiny window. This is my counter argument to that. I'm I'm a big fan of keeping the Australian Spring Car title just Australian drivers. I understand we've got all the other big races to bring in all the internationals, the classics here, Red Hot Summer Shootout. Mm-hmm. USA versus WA Speed Week. That's, that's all your Americans coming over for that. It's already hard enough to find a, a free weekend in January. Yeah. That's when it's going to have to run. So if, like we've already looked at, hey, it runs off the back of the Classic again for 2025. Murray Bridge announced as hosting the next Australian Sprint Car Championship. That's in January as well. That's another weekend we could run Americans here. So it gives you the option to move it to, hey, let's run the Sprint Car title in February or March or back in November. Gives you the option to free that up I'm not as big on, hey, they have to be an Australian driver and they've got to run the one over here because when Kerry Madsen won it, he went to America and raced it. When James McFadden's won it, he's been in America and racing and they're not racing the one all around the country. Jock Good just done a wonderful job of that. Andrew Shirley did a wonderful job of that. Lockie McHugh, those guys that are Australian-based and they win the one over here and they're going to run around the country and, and display that off to everyone. That's exciting to see your Australian champion yeah. roll to all these tracks. I love that. But you can't make that argument when James McFadden goes and races professionally over in America. If he had a one on the weekend, that's, he's not racing in Australia with the number one until December 2024. Yeah. So you can't make that argument that, hey, they've got to be an Australian citizen. Yeah. On the other side of the fence, I don't mind it because if you don't have the Americans here, there's no pressure to run it in January. It's, a, it's right. It's interesting. I I'm sure it. this will go crazy on social media after we bring this up, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it will, but, yeah, I'm a big fan. You know, the late models, I think it's cool. Um, you know, the Australian Championship for late models will be held in April this year at Toowoomba. That's probably outside the window then to really, you know, Joey Roth will probably be here and maybe one or two others. But, you know, it makes it hard right in the middle of the Lucas Oil Dirt Series and the World of Outlaws late model series that they're going to be able to come out and race here. But at least the opportunity is is present, I feel. And it's great for selling tickets, mate. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> Speedway Nation, thanks to SRV Road Freight Service. We'll be right back on the other side of this. This is SEN Speedway Nation for Clay Purview. Watch Speedway live or on demand. And SRV Road Freight Services, excellence in motion. 